Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus for May. Okay, this is for May for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is my second Taurus reading for May, but I figured we'd just do another round, see what comes up. <laughs> what do we have for Taurus for the month of May? One card, please, for Taurus for the month of May. One card, please. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. Clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. It's time. It's time. There's, you know, that's an alarm clock. So there could be some something alarming. There could be something alarming. You've been waiting for it. You know, it's time. Whatever it is, it's time. It's that time. Okay, tick-tock, tick-tock. That's the alarm. It's obviously, the alarm is going off. So it's going to be... There could be... A, it could be an alarming time. Put it that way. Something alarming could happen by the looks of things. So, interesting. We're going to get a couple of these for overall energies. These cards are very deep. So, I don't really want to do the whole reading with it. Two cards, please, for Taurus for May. May have something to do with ten. Um, the time on that clock happens to be about ten oh eight. Ten oh eight, ten oh seven, ten oh eight. Now it could be ten oh eight a.m., ten oh eight p.m. Um, could have something to do with October eighth. Doesn't have to be. It's a time or a date or something like that. But it's time for something to take off as well. Something is happening. Something is happening. Um, the moon. <laughs> the moon. So all is not as it seems. There is something coming out from below the surface. You need to be careful. You need to be careful. There's some element of illusion here. All is not as it seems. Something is about to be shown to you. Something is about to be shown to you. And it may be fearful. It may make you fearful. Okay, you may be... It may be something you're afraid of. Something that you were fearing. Okay, you were fearing this was going to happen, perhaps. Whatever it is, it's absolutely time for it to show its head, okay? Uh, something is about to be shown to you. One more card, please. Now, the moon is also a card of hidden forces. You're going to need to proceed with caution. All is not as it seems. Now, this, like I said, there could be something that is alarming that is happening. Be careful. Ooh, seven of wands. This person's getting spanked. Somebody is getting spanked. He's getting a spanking. Somebody's getting, whether it's you or somebody else, somebody's getting a spanking. They did something wrong. This is, a, this is like a beating, right? What the hell is this? Um, in trouble. Now you notice, uh, that's the devil. You see the horn. Somebody, somebody did something um, there that was not good. Okay? That is, that is the devil with the devil's horn. So somebody did something that was you know, out of their shadow self, okay, because that's ruled by the shadow and the devil's ruled by the shadow as well. Um, it's time for a, it's time for a, well, a punishment by the looks of things. Somebody, and whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, um, whew, I don't know. You could be dealing with somebody who's obviously um, going to be paying the price for something that they did. You see, this, that's like whiplash, okay? So some, well, something is going on. Somebody's about to get um, punished by the looks of things. Now, I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. This is, this is mirroring that moon card. So, 
I don't know, you could be dealing with the Capricorn, Capricorn rules the devil, you could be dealing with the Pisces or Cancer. Whatever is going on, it's time. It's time for something. Okay? Interesting. Um, you may want to make good choices. Be, be, make sure that you are making some good choices. You notice my thing is falling down now, so it's weird. Um, make sure that you're making good choices, okay? Because there's going to be some sort of uh, punishment that is imposed. There's consequences here. There's some sort of consequences. There's consequences. Whether it's this person uh, that, um, I mean, the moon is about illusion. So somebody may have filled somebody up with illusion. This is consequences. There's some, so it's time for some consequences. Okay? So, I mean, I can't, I don't know if it's you or them or whatever. Now, this is addictions. Okay? And the devil is ruled by addictions. So we may have somebody here that has some addictions. And their addictions, you know, they're going to be paying the price for those addictions. Um, it's time for something, whatever it is. Um, time to pay up by the looks of things. Um, woo! Oh, my God. Things may have gotten worse. When the devil comes out, it's extreme. Anything in reverse means it's an extreme. So things may have gotten worse. Somebody may be in a toxic situation or they're be becoming more obsessed or they're becoming more addicted. There's addictions that we could be getting out of control. Um, there's suffering. There's despair. There's a weakness. You must free yourself from a situation that you are enslaved to. So you're a slave to some sort of addiction. And addictions come in many forms. It's time to deal with this obsession or addiction. Whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. There is definite addictions here. And addictions come in many forms. It could be food. It could be gambling, it could be sex, it could be codependency, it could be drugs, it could be alcohol, whatever it is. We definitely have, this is a devil, this is a devil, and that's a shadow. Would, I'll, I'm telling you what, there's some sort of addictions here that need to be dealt with. Okay, it's time to deal with these addictions. It's very unhealthy. Okay, okay, two of swords now. That is wearing a mask, avoiding the truth. Want, not wanting to see the truth. You know? You're, you're, you just don't want to see it. You don't want to believe it. In, de in denial. You know, blocking. Blocking your emotions. Um, feeding your emotions. Something like that. Burying. Burying your emotions, and somebody is, and whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, somebody is bur burying their feelings, blocking their feelings with addictions. Four of Swords, a need to take a break, recuperate, time out, uh, go within. You need to go within, you need to come up with another plan. You may need to take a break. You may may need to open your eyes and see it for what it is. It feels like we got somebody here has had their eyes closed and, and been refusing to open their eyes. You know, you're really going to need to master your emotions to get over this addiction, whatever it is. Instead of just pretending that everything's okay. Somebody is pretending and it's like they're feeding their they're feeding their or they're not. It's like they're uh, overdoing it. They're blocking their feelings with something. Could be whatever this addiction is. This addiction is helping them to block their true feelings, to mask it. It's it's putting the mask on. You know, it's putting putting the the blindfold on. This addiction is helping you to get through whatever this situation is that is unreal. Okay, there is some sort of level of gratification here that is an illusion. Okay, it's an illusion, and you know it. But you don't want to believe it. You don't want to believe it. So you're going to need time. You're going to need to take a time out. You need to need, maybe somebody might need to go to rehab or go someplace to recuperate. Okay. Emperor. You could be dealing with a masculine. Somebody that is very controlling. This person could be a narcissist, could be a tyrant, a business owner, a boss, a father, a husband. Whoever this person is, they like to be in control. They are corrupt. They do things against the law. They may even sell drugs. This person may sell drugs or they do things in a corrupt manner. 
um, and they pretend everything is going good. They just and they hide it very well because this is hiding things very well. I feel like you are neat, out of things are out of control, and I think that somebody has given their power away to uh, very controlling individual or substance or both. This is like substance abuse. When substance is uh, food, uh, it's not only food, it's it's drugs. It's, it could be anything, okay? But this guy deserts you in the time of need, likes to have his own way. This person um, probably has his own business or he's in a position of authority and it may have gone to his head, okay? This person uh, is non-caring, doesn't care, only is out for number one. So you could be dealing with somebody who, who is only out for number one. Maybe you've blocked this person or they've blocked you. They've blocked their emotions, okay? They're not open to you. Um, this person is pretty cold, pretty self-centered, pretty into instant gratification, very materialistic. Somebody's dealing with a very materialistic individual who... Um, is keeping them trapped or something like that, keeping them bound, keeping them uh, tied to, you know, almost like a slave. You may be a slave to this person. They may, you know, look at, they may treat you like a slave and you're choosing not to see it. Somebody is choosing not to see it. Now, if it's not a person, it could be an addiction. You could be slave to an addiction. Somebody is, is seriously a slave to something and it's out of control. It is definitely out of control. Now there's, it's time to, to pay for this uh, addiction, whatever it is. Ooh, now I'm not sure what is happening, but the Ten of Swords reverses, you know, uh, the worst has happened. This is a near-death experience. Something could also be coming back from the dead or somebody could, you know, uh, you know, this could be the death of an idea or a person, and this could be too, and this could be too. So, you know, something could happen. It could be a disaster where, you know, somebody, you know, somebody could, uh, you know, overdo it. They could, they could uh, not wake up. I mean, I just have to be honest with you. If they, there could be a drug overdose here. I mean, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but you know, this is this is serious consequences. It's consequences for whatever this addiction is, and you know, if even if it's a food addiction, food addiction could be, you know, it's not good for your heart. It's not good for your blood pressure. It's not good for your cholesterol. It could cause diabetes. That's just an example. Drugs. You can have a. Uh, drug overdose you know that can cause a heart attack there's all kinds of things you know, that could happen um, but this is a near-death experience where you could survive but you may not that's what this is this is things getting worse out of control definitely out of control so I think that it's time to pay the consequences and take back control free yourself from this enslavement so breaking free from something that you have been in denial about you're gonna have to take a time out and come up with a new plan to break free from this situation that is killing you Now, I don't know if you are under somebody else's control because the Emperor Reverse usually signifies a person. This person is mean. They are mean. They are controlling. Um, they desert you. It's a, This is a criminal. This person may have a criminal history. Um, is the boss and, and will not listen. Knows it all. Not interested in helping. Um, doesn't want to take responsibility for any of their actions. It's never their fault. Ever, ever, ever. This is somebody that is above the law, right? Or on the wrong side of the law. This is somebody who breaks the law. Um, ooh, we're talking about the law. So the law may get involved. The law may get, in, get involved. There could be some legal issues. This is the, the, the justice card is the laws of karma. Consequences. There is some sort of consequences. Legalities. You need to be honest with yourself. Open your eyes before you get yourself into some sort of trouble with whoever it is that you are in denial about. You need to break free. This is breaking free. Break free from who, whatever this is. It's time to break free from this situation that is, feels like it's deadly.
the magician take the power back in your hands. This is about being willing to shed the old, to bring in the new, finding the resources within you to shed something, to be strong. The magician has all the tools, has all the resources, just has to find them. This is an opportunity. This is a golden opportunity to have whatever you want. To, to, but you have to find your determination and your willpower and your discipline to take action. You can do whatever you want, but you're going to have to take action. That's what I see. You're going to have to take... So this month, I think you're going to be taking action to regain control of a situation that is very toxic and unhealthy. Okay? You're going to be taking your power back. Because I feel like you're gonna open your eyes after not after choosing not to to see it, to ignore it, to ignore this addiction, this this situation that is so controlling. I think you've been choosing to ignore it, and you're at a point where it's uh, dangerous. It's dangerous. You need to open your eyes, be honest with yourself, and come up with another plan. Take action. Find that willpower and that discipline to break free and take back control. So I think that this month you are going to be taking on a new opportunity. Because this is a new opportunity. You've manifested a new opportunity. It's like they're giving you an opportunity to take your power back. Oh, Queen of Swords. Now this is this is seeing the truth, speaking up for yourself, defending yourself, being assertive, thinking fast. You're going to need to think fast. You're going to need to uh speak up, speak up for yourself. Push people away that don't support you. Do what's right for you. Some of you may be becoming independent. You may be in a contract right now where you are under somebody else's control. You may be breaking free from a contract. Because you got to do what's right for you. The Queen of Swords is usually somebody, not usually, but well, quite often, somebody that is independent. This is an independent person. Doesn't need anybody else because they're very authentic. This is, this is authenticity at its finest. But it is also being honest with yourself. For some of you, you may have also manifest. This is something new. It is. You may have manifested something new. Okay. If Especially if you, I, I would say, because the magician is a very masculine energy. Some of you may have called in a, a soulmate that is very strong, very independent. Okay. Um, this person is very independent and strong. Sharp. Very much matter of fact and to the point. And this is asking for something. So some of you, and this is meditating. So some of you may have meditated. You may have been praying. You notice he's like meditating. He's praying. When you're meditating, you're kind of like praying, kind of. So somebody may have been praying for, you know, justice or to get something that they deserve. And, you know, this is getting what you deserve. So somebody may be getting what they deserve. So this is getting rid of the old and bringing in the new. Somebody that is honest. Somebody that is truthful. Somebody that is very matter of fact. Could be a Libra. Could be, or a Gemini. Or, or an Aquarius. But mostly Libra or Gemini. You could Somebody may have called in a Libra or a Gemini into their life that is very honest and upfront and truthful. This person speaks the truth. This could also be a professional, okay? We could have a professional here, somebody that comes in with some sort of truth, somebody from the law. This could be an investigator. Seriously, we may have an investigator that has been investigating this boss or whoever it is, and now they have their facts, and I don't know. They're speaking about them. They're talking about them. I don't know why this thing keeps on falling down. I've been doing readings constantly and it hasn't happened. All of a sudden it is. Somebody's going to be falling down. Ooh, 
losing their stance. And I think it's because there is this person, that's a sort of truth, it's a sort of power. This is very powerful and this is truth. Some sort of powerful truth is going to come out that is going to bring somebody down. And it's not something you can ignore. You're going to have to face the facts. So something is going to happen in May. It may have to be surrounding a, a very masculine energy in your life. These are both very masculine. I think we have somebody here that has been praying for justice. Justice is coming. Karma is coming. Somebody's about to pay the price for some consequences for their uh wow the devil energy is devil energy reverse extreme toxic behavior so i don't know how you're involved here but maybe i feel as though you are breaking free from this because this is the first card out this is breaking free from an extremely healthy toxic situation that is killing you. Good luck. 